you it's a beautiful morning in the Bay Islands of Honduras. I'm on the island of Utila right now. Yeah, it's about quarter to eight or so, and I'm in search of breakfast. Well, I found some breakfast over at uh, Thompson's Bakery. Had a few eggs and one of their very famous, very good cinnamon rolls. Now I'm heading out to the transmitter site and not sure where I am. I, I kind of took a back road here. I thought I'd see if it was a shortcut. We'll find out if it's a shortcut or not. Okay, decision time. I have uh, reached a small intersection. I know I can go down this way and catch the main road and then catch the uh, path I need for the transmitter. But I'm going to take this little road less traveled right here and see where it leads me. You want to come along? Well, the nice thing about this road less traveled is there's not much traffic. In fact, it's just me. Whereas down there on the main road, I'd be dodging scooters and ATVs and whatnot. So, so far I'm liking this. Well, I don't know what the plan was here, but this is something that's been started. Here's another building that is not finished back here along this little path. There's a larger building around the corner here. It's a bit of a landmark. Never was finished. There it is. I think from what I've read and heard, this was supposed to be a, a hotel that would have been way ahead of its time. That is, if I re remember right, was built in the 70s. I would call this the resort that never was. Very interesting layout of the land here as you come down. You can see somebody thought that they were going to have a big and grandiose resort here. But it never, never happened, it never took place. There's a beautiful view looking over the Utila Harbor. I think it would be interesting to know the original plan for this whole place here. It, it would have been grand. This is my good friend Lance Bodden, and I was over at what he just told me was Duncan Hill. Now, Duncan what, Hill. what's the history behind that? Duncan Hill was to be a big hotel resort. Yeah. It was a guy with a Texas by the name of Jim, Jim they called him Jim Money. And then he um, contracted this guy by the name of Duncan, Duncan, and he was the one that was doing all the work and that doing with it. But they had a huge project. They had uh, a bridge that was a land go from the hill and go over to get to the beach to the water. Hmm. Then they had like, a build a tunnel below that you got to go below the street and get out to the water. And they just kept building and this a superstructure that was building, but apparently they ran out of money, and that's where the way it stopped. The man went back to Houston, the next man went back to La Saiba, and that's where it stops there. And never ever came back, and they were re improve it, or you know, now just it's abandoned there basically. It just sits there. Just sits there. So, who owns the property? Uh, the guy from out of Texas, that the name is Jim, Jim Money. Huh. They call him, his name is Jim, or they call him Jim Money. Yeah. That's his property. That's a shame it never got finished. It never got finished, but it was, and the blueprints, it was something like a, like a Star Wars blueprint. Oh, okay. You know, you see like things like, you know, well, this really, you know, with the tunnel and the bridges yeah. and the stuff. But it was really nice. It was really a beautiful something if it had, been, it had ever been finished. Do you think that would have been a, a, a great thing for Utila if it was finished? Well, it would have been one next point of attraction yeah. where people would come like say, because if you're coming on a plane, you will see the big building, the, 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 the bridges, and if you come on the ferry, it will be something of interest that people want to want to get close to see it and take pictures of it. So you've never decided to go finish it yourself? No, I can't take that project on. That's too far away from my house. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Lance.